I usually go at least three days a week on my way home from work. Tondra Blevins has three grandchildren, and she says her daughter would never let her near them if she was still addicted to pain medication. Your entire life revolves around how many pills are in the bottom of that bottle. Every minute of every day, 24 hours a day. Blevins got a tattoo at 50 to mark when she got sober. It's been eight years, but she still remembers that addiction. And the longer you're addicted, the more it takes every day. So then you have to resort to finding more drugs. What started as relieving serious back pain led to her shopping for doctors and pharmacies. I had a book that I kept it all in and so that I didn't mess up and get arrested. These are just a couple of the many drug stores that she would go to. Doctors and researchers at Carolina's healthcare systems now have a program in place where it alerts the doctor before he writes a prescription and it can be brought to one of these stores. The alert comes up as you're writing a prescription. So it's not in a situation, you don't want to bias any of, the, any of the visit. And so it comes as you're writing the prescription and just gives you the information that you need to know to either continue the prescription, change the amount of the uh, prescription, or even cancel the prescription if there's some information that comes from the health record that puts the patient at risk. Dr. Joseph Shu works in trauma and sees patients every day. He is working with public health researchers like Dr. Rachel Seymour. We saw that the number of deaths due to overdose and particularly overdose on prescription opiates were exceeding motor vehicle collisions. They've implemented Premium, a program funded by the CDC and will share their findings with doctors and other health care systems across the country to work on prevention. We need to deal with this issue on the, on the front end. I think it would make a huge difference because if that had been implemented when I was in the height of my addiction or even the beginning of my addiction, I would not have been able to pull so much over on so many doctors. Pamela Escobar, WBTV on your side.